Welcome back, comrades. My name is Takreva. This is more Hearts of Iron 3 playing Soviet Union. And we be doing well. We have just reinf nearly completely reinforced our new borders with Germany. That's going to be a nice issue. Of course, our armies are ready to take on the Finns in due time. Um, Finland has a claim, Soviet Union has a claim. We also claim Hanko, I think. Uh, no, we don't. Um, Suita's good. That means that the front is positioned. Uh -huh. Of course, the um, tank army is ready to strike wherever he they're needed. I mean, if the Germans are pushing here, then we can strike. And So the other tank army, even though less effective, will be in this region once the war starts. Even though there's a lot of forest there. It's still going to do well. That's why it's also right now going through the forests in um, Finland. Because we kind of need um, to get some pushing power through there. So close to the uh, Belgians there. Cuba, 51%. France, we have enough covered up, so full on party pushing for now. 34% is too low for me to try and risk it at the moment. Mexico, 46%. Actually, Spain, 24 The Netherlands, 22 even with the ARP. Norway, we are in charge. Portugal, not yet, but could happen. Romania is still trying to coup them, of course. Um, and let's actually focus on that again. Hang on, what? Production? No longer aligning. Of course, they're not. Production, we are through our queue. Again. Um, of course, there's the infrastructure that we added. I'm going to put that at the top for now. Won't be done until June though, but it's only 0.62 for each one. Um, in that case, I want more divisions to be built. So I'll just get some artillery. I want them a series of two with five parallel. Um, actually three. And then one with AA. And one with AT. There we go. Um, let's have a look, by the way, at speed. Um, rocket artillery is speed 5. Currently, compared to regular artillery... Um, which is just... No, that doesn't work. Okay, which one will put them next to each other? Well, this is close enough. Um, artillery has 5 soft attack rocket 2. Yeah, rocket artillery is faster to build, though, and cheaper to build as well. But they have zero upgrades so far, so we're going to need upgrades on that one in the future. <laughs> Education done in November, at the end of the month. We're soon going to have to reinforce to go to war. To mobilize. And then I can actually start sending decent amounts of troops south to the German border. What I think is if we go to the diplomatic map mode, yeah. Um, these green areas are what we're going to take from the finish, obviously. Maybe even more if we can add a second war goal, basically, to just um, claim them. What does the event actually do? They get border negotiations. Doesn't actually put us in the war yet, I think. But it might actually do that. Covert ops. Oh, I can actually... Yep, I can stop with Belgium then. They're at 51%. That's definitely worthwhile to try it. We've cooed Belgium. And it fails! Ah, It's 51% of all things. Come on. Should have worked. Uh, 
such randomness. I haven't put them back yet. Well, popularity dropped by 5% instantly after the coup failed, but... Maybe broken on February 6, 1940. Well, back to covert opsing the Belgians then. Just annoying. Coups are not really working out for us. France, it's 40% now, by the way. Cuba at 49. Nationalist Spain at 23. Romania at 40. Turkey at 47. Um, let's get started there again. Mm -hmm. um, total number of spies. Doing well in Bolivia. Actually, the funny that there's 8% support in Germany, where I'm not doing anything with spies right now, I think. Just counter-espionage, really. What happened? Um, Germany enforced conquer on Denmark. Well, there goes Denmark. Not sure if he had spies there anymore or not, but... It would be hilarious to coup nationalist uh, China. Protect the Emperor Society. Mm -hmm. So this needs to go to Koretz. On the third motorized core. Um, I think... Wow, we need 462 manpower to fully reinforce everything. Yeah, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. And we're still automating trade. Oh, Norway is drifting towards us. They're coming. Um, invite a faction, they just need to be close enough aligned to be able to do that. They'll probably say yes anyway. Okay, it's now four weeks. Two weeks away, so let's start mobilizing. I believe we do get a bonus to reinforcement speed, though. I believe so. Yeah, reinforcement required. 140 freaking three. Because all of our units need to go up to max strength, which is 3,000. And they're taking 100 a day, which... You get double the speed. Basically, it's eight days to do this. To mobilize, it costs you eight days. There, another hundred go there. For supply, non aggression status. Packed status. Oh, there's another tank division about to be finished. Also, our education research is nearly done. End of the month. And there they are. They're going to Rhone. I think that's the fourth. Yep, fourth motorized core. So we need two more divisions in each one. And we currently have two motorized groups and one regular armored group. We're building more motorized, so I think the last one has to be an armored division. I'll just put them in the queue. So, we want, looking by speed, we want two armor. I think one self-propelled artillery. And let's give these guys punching power with motorized infantry attached to them. 114 IC to build five of them. But that will be a powerful brigade running around a division. Really powerful. These are nearly done too. Of course right now production is slow because we're reinforcing heavily. Need two more days to do that. Mobilize in peacetime. It's very costly. It's costing... I think consumer goods is down. Huh. Impressive. And now we should have everyone reinforced. 
nearly. Yeah, now it's dropped down already, which is good. Um, how's our covered ops points? 17 in Cuba now. And down to 20. Nearly there with full reinforcements. 29993. Couple more days, and we're about to start the Winter War. But first, we'll have education research done as well. It's actually tomorrow. 1444, that's a good start year. If you know E4 starts 1444. Leadership plus 10%. Yeah, that research is definitely not going to continue. Um, last attrition would actually be really good for us. It takes until May. That's six months or though. 1940 everything. Um, Anti-aircraft carriage and sights. That's the one I need right now. Finishing these all to the same level would actually be a good start. Okay, so we're two days out. Um, this will adapt very soon. 2227 is, is what it's currently at. Let's see at the end of the day it'll be... 2328. Okay, I'm gonna... Drop you back down, drop you back down. Get a few more officers. 85% officer rate right now. We need... We still need more than 11,000. Holy crap. <laughs> Way too many. Also, motorized brigade. Let's put you on the first motorized core down there. Perfectly fine. Okay, it's about time to hit this. So that will be fun. Decision time. Yes, it is. Also, second motorized core. There we go. Time to do the Finnish Winter War. Also, see how fast Norway is jumping down here. Pretty fast. Um, the Finnish Winter War. The non-aggression pact between Germany and Russia in August 1939 turned heads in Finland. Germany agreed to give the Baltic states, including Finland, to Russia. Of course, all of this was kept a secret, but as time went on, the events became known to the Finns. As Russian aggression grew, the Finns requested help from Germany, only to be turned away, leaving the Finns to face Russia's aggression alone. When Finland refused to allow the Soviet Union to build military bases on its territory, the latter revoked the non-aggression pact of 1932 and attacked Finland on 30th November 1939. The Winter War ended in a peace treaty drawn up in Moscow on 13th of March 1940, given southeastern Finland to the Soviet Union. This means war. They will get. We will declare war. Norway, United Kingdom, and Sweden won't like it, and they get the White Death event. We are at war. Um, let's get going with three of these mountain brigades, and then this one, one. Two, three, attack. Okay. Same thing here. Um, let's send in two tank groups there, and then one infantry, two infantry, two of you go in there. You just all, you all, and you all. And up here we have nothing, but that's. Probably not a problem. There are not even victory points up there. Helsinki 6, Vipuri 1, Turku 5, Vasa 5. Okay. Wow. Also, um, our need for consumer goods, drop, goods dropped to zero when we declared the war. Because, yeah. We don't need consumer goods in the middle of a war. 816 regular brigades. Hang on, what? We don't have great army though. No, 748. I think that includes ships and aircraft then. Probably, uh, yeah, we need 52 more. So we're going to get there quite easily. General Winter. Organization regain rate and reinforcement bonus. 
Soviet Union controlled Danzig. Uh -huh. Allied with Soviet Union, either a communist China or the other one, uh, nationalist China. That's only possible by taking over uh, Japan. It's naval supremacy in the east. Um, Gulf of Finland, what do we need? We need Hanko, Porvo, Helsinki, Lovisa. Either as part of our nation or part of the um, Comintern. Our war goals is acquired territory, Soviet claims, basically. Cannot add a war goal until the end of the month, which is fine. Here we go, we've engaged the enemy everywhere. Um, Let's slow down. I wonder how... S well, our... St Alla Kurti. That's a weak attack, because it's... That's across a river. Well, stop that attack, then. That's not an attack that we're going to be winning anytime soon. And one of you... Strategically redeploy over to Poliarni. To defend against that. 58, 40, could be better, 35, 32, more tanks. Oh, we've won the Battle of Kivananapa. How did, what? That's weird. So we've already won one attack, um, which means... I want my entire mechanized core, except for the HQ, to drive in. And actually, the other infantry as well. You're moving ahead to Kivinapa. And this, except for the HQ, will also start driving that way. You'll also all move up, you will move up, you can move to Leningrad. Of course, with all the victory points down here, it's logical to focus on uh, those areas. All the fights are looking very good right now. Won a battle of Suomu Salmi. Excellent. Get some. Uh, Pushed. These attacks are going the slowest and the worst. Um, actually, you know what? You guys joined that attack for a slight flanking bonus. And we've won the fight. So except for the HQs. Move in. Which means these guys can also move in. Supply is going to be the issue here, obviously, but... Um, Kivanapa, we're there. Also, our forces have engaged us and failed. Let's see, what do we have here? Not yet a strong attack, but you can move on to there to join that fight. Still 33 already. Level 3 general who's gaining experience quite fast. Won the Battle of Salmi. Except for HQ, let's move in. My elite guards can also start moving north. Won the Battle of Kumo. We're at least winning all the battles right now. HQ is already um, not pushing through anymore. We have enough spies to do something again. 42 now in France. Uh, let's see. Denmark is kind of dead. That's not useful at all. Mongolia is already part of the common turn, so not necessary either. Mm, Poland is kind of dead. <sighs> Xinjiang, I think, is actually not a part of the um, 
group, but ooh, 21, 24, 28. It's going to be a tight election in the USA. 23, 28 in the UK, though. Hmm, lost power again, or strength. Actually, let's just do Venezuela. So, Jeremy, good, good, good. Um, okay, we lost some province over there. Annoying. Okay, we have the entire front moving or attacking. Give it up, give it up, give it up. When can you move again? 10 hours. Um, you should when you're ready. Petro de Vorets, yes, they're there. And I would like to thank you all for watching. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date in the future. First week of the Winter War has passed and it's um, we're pushing into Finland now. It's quite a few units actually. Holy shit. I'll see you guys later.